he was carrying mine. <laughs> you got his on his flat? Right. What's that? No, first or second. Um, Pastor okay. Kevin, the bride goes yeah. first. Okay. Can you hold these for me? <laughs> okay. Sean, there are so many things about you that drive me crazy. You get such pleasure from purposely antagonizing, instigating, and doing your very best to annoy anyone that you come in contact with. But I wouldn't want you any other way, sweetie, <laughs> because your childish antics are what keep me laughing and not taking myself too seriously. I'd rather be married to someone who always keeps things exciting and keeps me guessing than to be married to an old buddy. Number two. You drive me crazy with your over-the-top optimism. Often when I'm doubtful of our future or I'm down on myself, I get so frustrated because you're not down there with me. Don't you know that misery loves company? But I wouldn't want you any other way because your constant need to be my rock and to pull me out of my funk is what keeps us going so strong. Your optimism and belief in God's power has saved our family from so many opportunities to throw in the towel. Number three. It drives me crazy when you believe in something so much that you will tell complete strangers when they're wrong. When you get an idea in your head, you'll stop at nothing until your objective is met. But I wouldn't want you any other way because your passion for making the world a better place and for seeing justice done is what I love most about you, even if it means fighting a parking ticket that you're guilty of. With that passion and drive, you will never let our marriage fail. When you believe in something strong enough, like our commitment to marriage, you're unshakable. Number four, it drives me crazy when I have to remind you to wash your hands, brush your teeth, clip your nails, or shave. But I wouldn't want you any other way, because if I didn't have to remind you, then I wouldn't be fulfilling my wifely duty of being a knack. You've given me purpose, honey. And number five, finally, you drive me crazy in a good way when you grab my butt on a daily basis, <laughs> and when you hold my hand whenever we're walking or just watching TV, and when you're such a helpful husband and a loving father, that happens to be very sexy. You see, our weaknesses, while separate, make us a couple of bozos, but together we're amazing. We're like a puzzle, and only our pieces will fit together to make a complete picture of many years of happiness. Thank you for 10 great years, honey, and I can't wait for a lifetime more. I love you. I know, we're supposed to kiss later. <laughs> what? What? So he can see the LCD screen. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I was guilty of was parking in front of my own house. <laughs> if you wanted someone who wouldn't stand up for the rights, you should have married a mouse. But, this is my poem for you. I love you, honey, and for some strange reason you love me, but you should have married a non-idiot if you don't like line 23, or lines 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, and lines from subsequent Bob Renewal poems as well. Because all I wanted on that Hawaii morning was a bagel, but I got my babe instead. Now 10 years later, and you still rule my heart and head. You still make me do strange things at night, like brush and floss my teeth, but you no longer snorkel at Hawaii's black rock reef. You still look good in that bikini, though. Like, really, really good. I mean, really, really, really good. I mean, like, super really good. Maybe it's good you no longer snorkel, though. You'd be on Nancy Grace if you did. Oops, did I just say that? Better get back to this love-filled affidavit. You wanted me to be serious in these vows, like some gay Shakespearean clown, and prattle on about my overflowing love for you, how we've been through our ups and downs. My vows are my professional love for you, though. That would be love from a can. To talk like the contestant from The Bachelorette <laughs> would dishonor the diamond that adorns your hand. Or other. Through sickness and in health, till death do us part, those are for amateurs at karaoke hour who don't have what we have, jealous little louts. <laughs> I once called you my strong-willed Kansas Philly. I have never been more right. You are the maddest ass I know you would kick the shit out of the dark night. My love for you is not a sonnet. It's the adventure of everyday life. Like two superheroes together, it has turned darkness into light. My prattling is there, Shelly. It will be there till the end. As my soul screams out to all of creation, 
that you are my love and my best friend. Mm -hmm. In the next 10 years, I promise this, that I will not stay at your side. If you look to see me there, all you will see is a slide. Show of the past, because we're so much more than that. So much more than side-by-side -side companions. My love is all around you. Your interruption just now just bust killed my storytelling. <laughs> that was earlier. <laughs> we truly have become one that no one else can touch. Through all our dreams and adversaries, through our secret smokes on the porch. So for the next 10 years, I promise you this, that as you continue to shine, as a once again new mom, sensei, and top queen, that I will never pine. For a normal wasp American wife who comes home and cooks and cleans, I will continue to support my superhero wife who, gets, who deserves to veg and watch TV. So many men at my end need a red sports car. Who knew I'd find the world's smoothest ride in my little Kansas track star? So for the next 10 years, I'll try to remain thankful for the way you've made me understand life. So many men are ignorant of true love because they don't have you as a wife. Aww. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Why don't you hold these for Mama? And why don't you hold each other's hand? And Sean, please take Shelly's hand. It is your desire, Sean, to continue to have Shelly and your wife to live together according to the word of God, where you continue to love and cherish her and giving her assistance in all of life's labors, where you continue to be true to her both in sickness and in health, both when things are going well and when things are going difficult, and will you continue to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, may I answer, I will. I will. Shelly, it, is it your desire, Shelly, to continue to have Sean as your husband, to live together according to the word? Uh, will, will you continue to love him, submit to him, and to the Lord, and to be the helm for him in all that comes your way? Will you continue to be true to him, both in sickness and in health, both when things are going well and when things are going difficult? And will you both continue to be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live, so it's a I will. Okay, do you have your rings? Yes. Can I give Daddy the rings? rings? <laughs> we'll start with Sean first. Do you give them to Pastor Pat? Give them to, oh, to him. You said, let me see the rings. Wait, wait, wait. First step, come on. Okay, good. Okay, place it on his thing. Uh, his, he's first? Yeah, he's first. Okay. When you were first married, it's, this is symbolic of re-giving to him. The ring is subject to tremendous heat so that the waste could be removed and the metal could be purified into a fit, into a fit token of your commitment of love. Sean, let this ring symbolize your willingness to build your character through your self-sacrificial love for Shelly. Holding Shelly's hand and holding Looking into her eyes, repeat after me at these vows. I, Sean, I, Sean, renew my commitment to you, Shelly. Renew my commitment to you, Shelly. As your lawfully wedded husband. As your lawfully wedded husband. I will continue to love you. I will continue to love you. I will continue to cherish you. I will continue to cherish you. I will continue to be true to you. I will continue to be true to you. No matter what comes. No matter what comes. Whether we become rich or poor. Whether we become rich or poor. Well, you're poor. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whether there is sickness or, ha and, or health. Whether there is sickness or health. For as long as we both show it. For as long as we both show it. And with this ring. And with this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I now renew my vow. I now renew my vow. I'm married to you. I'm married to you. Shall we place your fingers on the ring <laughs> that you gave Sean? You were first married as a symbolic of giving it to him. Because the circle has no ending, so let this ring remind you always that your desire your relationship with Sean will continue for a lifetime. So repeat after me and make these vows to him. I shall I renew my commitment to you, Sean. I shall I renew my commitment to you, Sean. As your lawful as your lawfully 
wedded wife. As your lawfully wedded wife. I will continue to love you. I will continue to love you. I will continue to cherish you. I will continue to cherish you. I will continue to be true to you. I will continue to be true to you. No matter what the cost. No matter what the cost. Whether we become rich or poor. Whether we become rich or poor. Whether in sickness or health. Whether in sickness or in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And this ring as a symbol of my love. And this ring as a symbol of my love. I am renewing my vow. I am renewing my vow. Of my prayer to you. Of my prayer to you. Father, we thank you again, and we know, Lord, that you listen to these words, and I pray that these words will be a reflection of the character and integrity of those who have been teach us. I just pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless them in the marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now that you and Sean and Shelley have openly expressed the desire to remain united in the covenant of marriage, and as, as you have given each other these rings, I, Kevin Robertson, by the power and authority granted to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, do affirm before God that the two of you have together expressed your desire to rekindle your love and passion and renew the vows of marriage. From this moment on, let all know of your desire to continue as a lifetime as husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God has joined together. Let no one tear you apart. May the Lord bless you and keep you, I keep you in face and shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace forever. You ready? <laughs> Watch this. You may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hey, hey cool. You guys did the Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Do you, you want you a picture, Kevin. like all of you guys together? Yeah, and I'll take a yeah. picture of Thank all of you. you. Sure. I have it here because the sun is okay. easier to see up there. Okay, though. No. You Do get what? in there too, and, okay. and so I'll get higher. Just press this like a little bit so you get the green box and then all the way down. Okay. You push the button. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. And then Mark can You want me to go get the manual? Uh, I'm seeing the green button, so I'm good. Okay. One, two, three. All right, let's do one a little closer here. Okay. One. Two, three. All right. Get a picture, just a family. You don't need okay. one. Okay. Josh, come here, bud. Yeah, one more. One of us. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that's pretty. All right. I thought you could do a tight commercial with those white shirts. Yeah, one with exactly. the Well, your parents can take those. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. They'll pick all the other ones. Thank you, Sean. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Sure. When I saw you sitting here, I'm like, oh, I have a spectator for the wedding. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And you helped work the camcorder. Yeah, That's great. Well, I... An inch here. And I know. <laughs> well, it's so funny that I brought up your parking ticket and you started yours with the parking ticket. No, I added that. Oh. You didn't read my vows, did you? No, and when you said the parking ticket, I thought I figured I'll say I would oh, make that up and I say that. Oh, I thought that was part of your vows already. Okay, so <laughs> no, remember I did the airbrush thing.